So that was once this king. He was the ruler of the wealthiest nation on earth. He had the most valuable resource that every other country either needed or required or wanted. But it was only one thing about this king and his nation. His nation was landlocked and he was surrounded by other nations that controlled all of the trade routes and the waterways to export his resources. But one day, this king received word back from one of his knights that was out. When he rode back, he told the king that they had a gathering and it was some other kings that were there that was making fun of him. They were saying, yes, he's a wealthy king, but he could be so much more wealthier if other kings didn't control and decide how much his resources would cost and how much of his resources would be allowed to go out into the world and into other societies. So really, they thought the king was weak. Now, it was a couple of things about this king. One of them was he hated to be laughed at. So the king became so enraged and angered that he called all his counsel in to his chambers. And he told his counsel that he was contemplating on waging war on another country and take it over their country so he no longer had to answer to other countries about moving their resources. Now his counsel felt like this was a real, real bad idea because their country was experiencing the greatest economic boom that they had ever had. Everybody in the kingdom was prospering and everybody in the kingdom was doing well. But it was also another thing about this king. He hated to be questioned and second guessed. The last two councilmen that second guessed the king, the first one got beheaded and the second one got through to the lions. So none of the councilmen said anything to the king. They waited till after the meeting and they all had a meeting themselves. And they knew that they couldn't talk to the king because another thing about the king is once he had made up his mind about something, that's what it was. So the councilmen thought to themselves, what could we do? And one councilman said, you know, it's only one person that the king will listen to. And that person was the court jester. So all of the councilmen beckoned the court jester. And when he got there, they say, hey, man, the king is about to fuck up in a major way and try to start a war. They say, man, do whatever you got to do to stop the king from going to war. So the jester say anything. They say, yeah, anything. So the next day after the big feast that the king had every day and the king and all of the court was sitting around the jester stepped up in front of the king. Everything in the court got quiet. Then the jester proceeded to tell the king, King, you know what happened to me yesterday? All of your councilmen came to me and said, man, the king is a bitch ass nigga who must have lost his motherfucking mind. When the jester said that, everybody in the court gasped. And I'm talking about you could hear rat piss on cotton. The king's face became tight as fuck. He looked at the jester, then he looked over at all his councilmen, and then they instantly started sweating, looking away, and trying to fidget and, and play with shit and play it off. Then the king yelled for the guards, and then the court jester proceeded, but this time he was projecting and talking to the room like, but I know this can't be because my king is the wisest and most fearless king that ever walked the face of the earth. Everybody else in the room was still a little uptight because they didn't know what to think. But as the king fell back into his chair, everybody kind of relaxed just a little bit. And then the court jester eased up to the king and he put his leg up on one step and leaned forward to the king. He said, but you know what I say, king? And the king just looked at him and he said, I say that if my king 
tries to wage war, he might as well come up off of that throne and put on this motherfucking clown suit that I got on. And you can feel all the air just shoot out the room and the king and the court jester had a stat down. And the court jester didn't stop that. He said, cause shit, that would mean that my king is a bigger clown than I am. Matter of fact, I got an old ass clown suit in my chambers that I used to wear before I went on a diet. I might as well go get that motherfucker right now for him to put on with his fat ass. And out of nowhere, the king just busts out laughing. I'm talking about he rolling all over the place, holding his stomach because he laughing so hard. And when the king start laughing, everybody in the room, they join in in the laughter. And that's all the court jester needed. He really started to go off. He say, now see what these punk ass councilmen didn't know is that after they left, me and my king had a private meeting and he told me his true intentions. He said, the king told me personally, aside from his queen, he got three daughters and they the baddest bitches walking on two feet. The court quickly stopped laughing for a brief second and they looked at the queen and all the princesses, but they was just flattered that the court just to recognize them as being the baddest bitches that it is in the game. Then the court justice said, cause shit, if they anything like they mama, I know they got some good pussy, cause the king is a bitch ass pussy whipped ass nigga, cake ass nigga. King never stopped laughing, so everybody else just bust out laughing again. And the court jester just kept on going. He said, the king told me he tired of these funky bitches just laying up on they pussy. It's time for them to earn they keep. So a year later, all the king's daughters was married off to princes from nations that surrounded the king's country. And the king was given a free access to all the trade routes that he needed to get his resources out into the world, cake ass nigga. Sometimes the biggest fool in the room is the wisest man in the room.